What is up ladies and gentlemen? I'm back here with another Myers Toy Hunt. This is gonna be episode two for the Myers Toy Hunt series. Now, I gotta go in here to get something anyway, so I'm just gonna take a look and see what they got. I'm not really planning on getting something. If there is something I seem to less them, if it's through here, I'm gonna get it, okay? Um, other than that, I'm gonna just check and see what else they got, see if they've restocked anything. Um, I did pick up something the last time I was in here, What? but I didn't record it. Um, but I will show you that when I get home. Um, and for that specific specific thing, I'm gonna look again and see if I wanna get anything else that's kinda in the same set as that. But um, I will touch more on that later. So I'm gonna go in here in Myers and see what they get. I actually have a clearance section over here I'm gonna check out. Got some toys on it. They're super busy today, so bear with me. People in here just have no respect for anything. But man, I've seen this right here. I honestly thought about getting it. I'm about to flip the camera show you. Hold on. Okay, well, this is $8, okay? Flip the camera. This right here is $8, okay? I really, really thought about getting that. And I'm just now seeing these G.I. Joe guys on clearance five dollars okay i mean come on snake eyes for five dollars i might get that okay i don't even collect dc guys or nothing like that but this is only five dollars okay i think this is cool as shit for five dollars i don't know why it's five dollars the box ain't damaged it's got a little smudge mark there but you can literally wipe that shit off i mean come on five dollars Sometimes I'm a sucker for these clearance deals because I mean something like that I just can't pass up. I'm really tempted to get this guy here. Eight dollars, bro. Eight dollars. If it came with like a, a man, like one of the little figures in it, I would definitely get it. I'm I'm really tempted though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the toy section. I haven't got to the toy section yet. I mean they got Brand new Fort Guy figures and brand new Black Adam figures for two dollars. I mean, these prices are great. Two dollars for that? Um, just do me a favor and don't tell my wife. <laughs> don't tell my wife I'm in here doing this. Um, I just can't help. I can't pass up that deal. I'm about to go over here to this pop section because. I really wanted to get this guy last time I was in here. Oh, wow. They have a whole Tech side piece right here. That is empty. I had no clue about it. Get up this box up here. Sure, some people. I have no shield. Got this guy over here. I want it. Still over here? I'm gonna get him. He's still here. I don't know if I want him now. <laughs> Cause I got too much already. Um, but this guy right here. The mayor from um, Nightmare Before Christmas. <sighs> it's the only one left really cool I would really like to get the Oogie Boogie they have zero in hand they have like ten zeros right here he's the only one left I'm really really tempted to get it but he's ten dollars he's ten dollars They did restock some of their pop sick. As you can see, it was more empty than this. They got some cool ones in here, Simpsons. I really like these two, these guys too. Andre 3000. If you see Andre 3000 with his shirt off, that's the good one to get. Um, they got some cool stuff though. They restocked some of their pops. They didn't have this many last time. I'm still waiting on them the day that they restock the wrestling section. They still haven't. 
mind these guys have been in here forever so yeah nothing I want there NXT ring or all ring but yeah nothing too they got plenty of Buzz Lightyear stuff these guys are pretty cool just because they're different like Mossman like Skeletor that's unique and they actually did restock a lot of these and I can see this is what I got the chase piece from this set right here it says right there look for Tootsie's chase pizza which is that one I got it and this is pretty much the whole set really tempted to get like the whole set I can see somebody got a couple of them out of here that is not here when I first looked at it because I seen it when they first put it out um, but they're really cool well the only thing they restocked on the matchbox is they got some new moving parts in um, so I'm gonna pick up this guy right here really cool moving parts guy Land Cruiser always check the tech deck they ain't got new new ones in here but they this guy's ultra rare which I already have him though they got two of them just chilling right here two ultra rare ones if somebody knew the good ones to get there's two good ones right here waiting for you I love these cars from like the Uzi and stuff from the Kinda Bandit. Firebird, I think it's slick, boy. Jeep from Jurassic Park, Fast and Furious. That's really cool. I'm gonna deal with G.I. Joe stuff. Like, that's sick, boy. This right here, dude? Come on. That's so cool. And these are only like ten dollars. Batman one as well. If I just had money to blow, I'd get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back at my place. I'm gonna show you everything I got from Myers. Um, first of all, I'm gonna show you what I got the other day when I got in there. Um, it's the chase piece out of this set. Um, I went back in there today, really, just to see if anybody got bought any more from that set and i was right somebody looked through that set i could tell somebody looked through it got a couple out of the set uh set i wouldn't mind getting the whole set it's a brand new set um i don't really get into nascar that much um i used to love nascar I used to have a bunch of nascar stuff um but nowadays it and a lot of the older stuff too it's not really worth anything but personally i think it's cool i've always liked nascar i think it's real cool um, especially the way these new cars looked because this is the first series I've seen in a long time that I was like oh those are nice you know what I'm saying like I wouldn't mind getting that whole set um and if you read the back right here it says uh look for the chase piece um the, it's the Tootsie one which is this purple one right here um and that is actually this one and it was front and center the first time I seen that set and this really stuck out to me so I picked it up and I'm like oh man that's cool I looked at the rest of them. Now I read the back on all of them. It says, look for the Tootsie Chase piece. This is the only one. Oh, I got to get it. Um, but all of these cars are, like, really cool and distinct in their own way. That's why I wouldn't mind getting the set. And, like, they have new boxes. It comes with a card. NASCAR hasn't looked this dope in, like, a long time. So, like, yeah. Really, really cool. I'm, I'm glad I got this piece, though. I looked it up on eBay. I've seen them going, you know, anywhere... Uh, it's like a five dollar uh, car in the store. Like I said, I looked on eBay. I've seen it going all the way up to like twenty five. So depends on if a collector wants it for their collection or whatever. But really cool piece. Now I'm gonna actually show you what I got today. I'm gonna start with this guy. Um, start with this guy right here, the mayor from um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, really cool pop. The colors, the box, everything about it is really cool. Um, and I think the one from this series that I would like to get the most is probably the Oogie Boogie. I feel like that one's real rare. Um, they have the, uh, little zero, the little zero guy. They had, like, a whole bunch of them in there. As you can see, I think I showed a, a little bit of it. They have a whole bunch of them in there. 
This is the only mayor one I've seen. And this is the only mayor one I've seen in a store. Um, $10, that's a pretty average price for a pop. Look on eBay, I've seen it all the way up to like $30. So, like I said, yet again, it, it depends on if a collector is looking for this individual piece and just can't find it. Um, and they want to pay that price for it. Um, but he is really cool, different looking. So, like, I seen it the other day. I was like, ooh, I really want it. Um, but I had some other stuff I had to get, so I was like, I'm just going to wait. So I went back today, and I said, if it's still there, I'm going to get it. So I had no choice. I had to get it. And also, uh, Myers, um, the last time I went there, this is when I first discovered their clearance section with a bunch of toys. Um, and actually, they added a lot more to it since the last time I've been in there, which was only a few days ago. Um but i got these two pieces from the, the clearance section this guy's five dollars literally nothing wrong with the box like i said it's one little smudge right here you can wipe that off i can literally just get a little rag on it wipe that off nothing wrong with the box at all um it's in good shape it's a little dusty i think it's been sitting there for a while i don't know anything about dc figures um i know my friend he collects a lot of them um i don't i don't really mess with dc i don't mess with i don't even mess with i like marvel and i don't even mess with marvel figures but for five dollars this guy looks really cool why not you know what i'm saying like and it was the only one there in the clearance section so i'm like i think it's cool as shit for five dollars I, I mean i could that's just to me like clearance section like that that's something i can't pass up um like I said, I don't, I don't know. We, I couldn't tell you the first thing about DC figures, Marvel figures, none of that. But I just know for five dollars, this thing looks cool as shit. And in a box, that is nothing wrong with it. I, why not? Because I, I, a long time ago, I wanted to start. Um, and this is before I even had money or job or anything. I wanted to start collecting the Marvel figures um, <clears throat> because I thought they looked so cool. I just never got into it. And this is the other guy I got from the clearance section. $5 as well. I'm not a huge G.I. Joe fan. Like, I'll watch it, but I think it looks cool as shit, especially in a box like this. And this is Snake Eyes, one of the more popular guys. They had a bunch of it, but and then they had a couple of uh, female characters on there that I don't really know who they are. Um, so that they had a bunch of these, but I was like, might as well grab one because it's only $5 and it just looks cool. You know, the box is in, I mean, perfect condition pretty much. So I don't see why not. Like something cool like this and that Batman guy for $5 in a box, in good shape. To me, it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Because something like G.I. Uh, G. Joe or DC, Batman, stuff like that, years from now when I'm old and wrinkly, you know, if this is in a box in good shape, it might be worth a little chunk of change. So why not pay $5 for, for it now, even if they got 20 of them on the shelf? That's the way I look at it. But, and you know me, I like Matchbox. I've been collecting that. Um, they, the only thing, they, they haven't restocked their Matchbox there in a while. Um, I've been going there consistently, probably, um, for about a month now every time i go in there i check it out see if they restocked it or whatever see if i need to go in there and get something and like i, I was in there a few days ago like i said they haven't restocked anything going there today the only thing they restocked was the movie parts they got like two or three new movie parts ones in there and they have a lot of each of course but this one is the only one that was like okay that one's cool i'll get that one it's a uh, toyota land cruiser fj40 really cool color on it um so yeah, really cool. I love the moving part ones. Um, that's something I, if I had like plenty of money and I could buy like a duplicate, duplicate copy, I would open one and then leave one in the box just because I think they're really freaking cool. I would love to hold that son of a bitch in my hand. But, um, and this is some of the new ones again have the 70 year anniversary on it. That's just the newer ones are going to have that. So that's how you know, okay, they just put these out. It's new. So I was like, eh, I gotta get it. But I think this Myers episode two of my Myers series was a success. Just don't tell my wife I bought none of this. Um, 
I've already filled up my tote. I might come get a couple of these little things in there. <sighs> I might have to buy another tote soon. But, uh, I haven't posted on here in a minute. I've been kind of busy and, uh, taking care of some other things, but I'm gonna try to get back on here as soon as I can. I just said, screw it. I'm gonna do this video today and get it over with. Um, I want to post at least three times a month. Um, I know last month I only posted, I think, twice. Um, as long as I post something, I think I'll be okay. But that's my goal is to at least post once a month, but the the initial goal is three times a month. Um, but it really depends on what I got going on, what I can do, stuff like that. So, But thanks for watching. Um, Fire Passion Toys. We know we love toys, boy. Uh, but please like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you can. That's help me out. I would much appreciate it. And yeah, I shall see you next time.